Hey guys, this video is for those of you that are paying a retargeting app or paying someone to do retargeting for you um, or you want to get into retargeting. First thing, if you are currently paying for an app or you have an app on your Shopify store or another store to do retargeting for you, delete that. You're about to feel like an idiot because this is the easiest thing in the world to do yourself and you're probably paying someone 10% to do this for you. Um, so stop that. And this video is also going to show you if you don't know what retargeting is, I'm going to show you guys how to make a campaign in the next several minutes. I'm actually going to walk you through this. Okay, so basically what retargeting is, is we have our pixel installed, our Facebook pixel. And our pixel, if you saw my last video, puts a cookie into the users that come to your site, um, their browser. So now we can track them and see what they're doing. So maybe they came to our site and seven days later we want to hit them with another ad saying, Hey, here's a, here's a sale for that item you were looking at, or, you know, come back to our site and check out these new products, or this is something you might like, or maybe they did purchase and we want to sell them an upsell. You know, if it's a, a furniture store and they bought a couch, maybe you can say, Hey, this lamp would go great with that couch. We can literally retarget based on the exact pages or products that they see or how long they spend on our website. So we're going to go ahead and walk through this from, from scratch. Okay. I'm assuming you guys know nothing. Um, and even if you do, I'm going to show you guys a couple new unique ways to use a retargeting ad. So this is my audiences from my ads manager. So under assets library, I just went to uh, audience. So first of all, I'm assuming you have nothing. So disregard my existing ads. You've got your Facebook pixel installed. And if you don't, it's very, very easy. You can Google it. Whatever platform you're using, it's very easy. Whether you have an HTML coded site, it's simple. So we'll hit custom audience. We're going to go by website traffic. So we're just doing a broad one here for, for everyone to see. Um, so we're going to go by website traffic. Um, we just want everyone that went to our website for this, for the purposes of this video. And we're going to go in the last seven days. Okay. So my thing is when it comes to retargeting campaigns, depending on the product niche, you're going to want to play with these days around. So whenever I start out with a new client that I'm working with, I usually get them to test, you know, three days, seven days, and 14 days. Anything longer than 14 days, generally, I'm going to give you guys an ex exception here coming up, generally won't matter. So, but within that three, seven, and 14 days, that's the biggest time that we hit them with a retargeting campaign. Um, so, you know, I'm just going to call this last seven days traffic, and this will automatically update for us as um, time goes on. So boom, that's our first one. So in this case, I would get you to make a four days and a 14 days. I'm not going to obviously waste your guys' time um, and do this. So for the purposes of this one, now we're going to go into and we're going to create an ad. So I just create new campaign. We're always going, you know, conversions and we're going for purchases. Okay. Um, and so sorry, we're just going to call this, you know, retargeting campaign campaign. Um, and I'm just putting mine example because I obviously have retargeting campaigns currently running and I don't want them to be competing with each other. So, you know, call these whatever you want. Um, so I'm just going to call this, you know, last seven days retargeting. And we're always going for that purchase conversion pixel, okay? Um, that's the biggest thing. Is your, your goal is still purchases, right? Now, for custom audience, we're just going to go last seven days traffic. Now, when I look at this, though, that means if you were on my site one day ago, this is going to retarget to you as well. So if we only want to, you know, give them a, a week break so that they can think about this, what we would do is we would then create another audience, you know, that would be last five days or last six days of traffic. So let's say, you know, um, anyone who visits our site in the last, let's go five days. Um, and I'll explain the reason for that in a second here. Um, so last five days traffic and we would put this as an exclusion so right underneath here we would put exclude a custom audience and we put that last five days traffic obviously I just made it so it's not going to pop up yet so now anyone who was on our site in the last five days won't see this ad but on day six and day seven they will see this ad so we're excluding those other people because you know we want them to think about the purchase in this case let's say you know maybe it's a high involvement purchase. A high involvement purchase, we don't necessarily want to harass them, but we want to keep reminding them. So on day three, we might have an ad that reminds them about it. And then day seven, we might have a different ad. But the reason that I put the window between five and seven days is because if we just make it so that if I excluded the last six days traffic, well, what if they don't use Facebook on that seventh day? So now we miss out on that, that customer, that potential client. 
Um, you know, so we don't want to harass them too much when it comes to that. But if you guys saw my last video, I talked a little bit about, you know, if you have a company like a birthday card business where, um, you know, you sell these incredible birthday cards and someone might like them, but they don't have a need for them at that point because simply no one has a birthday. Well, this is where this tool becomes incredibly powerful. So a lot of us have challenges online. You know, we have a great product, but we're having a tough time creating that need for the, the client or the customer. They don't need me at that point. So what we can do is, you know, if you're a birthday card company, obviously they're going to have friends that have birthdays eventually. So we can run a retargeting campaign for 30 days and, and 60 days. You know, do that one month, two month, maybe six month gap. You can go back 180 days. And you can make that window, so you know, if you're going back 180 days, six months, you can make it so you exclude 175 days. So for five days, six months later, they're seeing this and you know, maybe they have a birthday around that time and then they're gonna become a potential client. So retargeting is so, so simple. There's nothing else I have to do. So for this case, let's just say I wanted to just use my last seven days traffic. That's great, I don't care if you were on my site one day ago or six days ago, it doesn't make a difference to me for my niche. Now. Always A-B test this. You need very low budgets for retargeting campaigns because your audience sizes are quite small. Um, so, you know, uh, location boundaries. This is obviously specific to you guys. Make sure you're breaking up locations, right? Canadians and Americans are very different. Make sure we don't have them in the same ad set. Create two ad sets, one for Canada, one for US if you guys are doing that or wherever markets you're doing. The rest of this all stays blank, okay? We don't play with anything. We only always do edit placements, okay? Keep your placements separate and you know, generally we want to stay away from audience networks for, for these types of campaigns. Um, those are just generals, okay? Now, budget here, um, this is where uh, you know, budget is, is huge. So when we're playing around with a retargeting campaign, we don't need a lot of money because we're only advertising those people that were on our site. So you know, if you have a thousand daily visitors and you're running a campaign for seven days ago, that's only 7,000 people in that audience. A daily budget of literally four or five dollars is plenty, right? So now how we can make sure that we're getting this daily budget, when we go back and we look at our ads and ads manager, and we, you know, we're breaking down our columns, we're putting custom columns in there, we're gonna check that frequencies tab. So this is very specific to your niche though, but generally if you're a one-time selling product, you know, they're not gonna come for reoccurring purchases, that sort of thing. We wanna see a frequency of between two and three. Now if our frequency is lower than that, it just means our budget's too low, add a dollar. If our frequency is higher than that, you know, you're seeing seven or eight, that just means that the same person on average is seeing your ad, you know, seven or eight times, then we'll lower our budget to try and get it between that two to three um, frequency gap, right? That's literally it to retargeting ads. So some of you guys are out there paying apps right now to run retargeting ads for you. Delete those apps, you're just wasting money. These are a lot better. You can do them yourselves very, very easily now that you've seen this, you know. If you wanted to do a, a retargeting ad for two months from today, um, you can go and, you know, take your, your 60 days and, and exclude 57 days. Now you've got people from 58, 59 and 60 days ago, um, when they saw your website, they're gonna get these ads. And the best part is, is if you've had your Facebook pixel installed, it will go back and pull that data. So don't worry if you know you haven't ever ran a retargeting campaign and you wanna to run to those customers you saw two months ago, if that pixel was installed, it's got that data stored and you can start advertising today to people two months ago. Um, so you know, play around with this, play around with your content, you know, what, what kind of ad you wanna to deliver to them is still up to you if you wanna give them you know, a discount or it's just a reminder for a need that they might have. Um, play around with those things, right? So if you have any questions or, or you know, comments, feel free to, to put them right in the video or direct message me, my page. Um, I post a lot of my content for free guys, so I really appreciate the support. I hope this helps a lot of you guys and I hope this saves you guys some money. Um, you know, those of you who are wasting money on retargeting ads or having someone manage your ads for you. Um, you know, spend the money to learn how to do things properly, guys. That's, that's my biggest thing is we're, we're just assuming that there's no other alternatives and that we can't figure it out ourselves. So we're spending money, you know, having someone else set this up for you and then they never have to touch it again. So now you're paying someone uh, a big chunk of your ad budget to never do anything again for you because once it's set up, it automatically uh, handles itself. Okay, guys, I hope that helps. Um, if you guys have any questions, you know, feel free. Uh, I really appreciate all the support. Thanks, guys.